Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna learn the third part of our maps, which is adding the function for searching up destinations. So once it loads, it is the map kit tutorial. So basically, if we click on the search bar, we can search for places like, let's say, uh, California. I don't know where that is. So basically what it does is it goes to the place where you want to go. And I don't know where that is. So let's search up some random place. Maybe Google. So that's where Google is. So basically you can search up any random addresses. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the code. So basically we have, uh, if we see we're importing MathKit and then we're handling a map search where we drop pin and we zoom in and then we have our view controller with the, with all the outlets including the map view and the location manager the and then we get the and then we drop the pin so we get it from the we get it from the search table and then it sets the it gets the coordinates and the annotation and then sets the region and then here it's just max of stuff that is like coming soon it doesn't work yet so basically, and then we have a location search table that handles all the searches. For example, it lists the uh, have the table view stuff. Then the it has the it basically does the format of the address, like address line format first space comma second space, and so basically. That's how it works. It's going to have a location search table and also the and the um, map. So basically, you can I set I when I was doing the map, I set it to a freeway drive. And actually the f the final thing I want to show you is a view is a main dot storyboard. Now, not much added. I mean, we deleted the we deleted the uh, other. We deleted the segmented control because there's no space. So, bye bye segmented control. If we run this, should work as usual. So I'm just going to search up Cooper Tino and then so basically if you click it, it's going to show you Cooper Tino and that's our freeway drive thing that I set here. Let's say we set it to a city bicycle ride. Then we move over to another street. So, the cool thing about the simulator is it actually works like a real phone, as long as you have Wi-Fi. So, if we say, I want to go to a custom location, you shouldn't just enter the latitude. And then, enter the longitude. I'm just going to try some random coordinates. I wonder where that is. Okay, we're gonna have to look some time to find that. <laughs> if you know like a place where where you know the latitude and longitude, then you can do that. And so, let me see the this part was actually for like getting directions to the place, but somehow that button is not showing up. 
so if we look I'm gonna see if that works so we have it zoomed on to our current location why is this not loading Basically what it's supposed to do is supposed to put a button right there, but we got to see if we can, so if we do var button. So if we run that, oh, okay. So we gotta unwrap that and that. So. Unwrap that and that and then. Let's hope this location, new location loads. Uh, oh, whatever. So let's search up another place. Well, Google, great place. But here, let's try this. We're going to add an, a new IB outlet. And IB action. So let's do that. And then Let's save funk get directions. So let's say we go back here and then I'm going to take my button, drag it to here. I'm going to change the text of that to directions. And then change that to bordered. And then link it up. Then we'll run and then hope it works. <laughs> See, we have it there. So let's say we search up Google. Then we say directions. See? So basically this thing is good a good GPS. So you can search, search up locations and then it'll send you to the place. If you look here, you can see and then directions so anyway guys thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and can't wait for part four we'll probably do something different in part four than like uh, adding map stuff we're gonna probably a add some other cooler stuff so guys thank you so anyway bye